Electrician. Hey, you get you, Doctor Magician of uh, eighty-four here. I nearly said of Team Sorcerers. This is what happens when I film back-to-back -back, uh, deck building challenge videos. So yeah, Dark Richardson 84 here, and welcome to Q&A number 150! Yes, can you believe that it's been pretty much a year now since, uh, since the 100th episode? I mean, give it another year or so, and uh, we'll reach 200. <laughs> So, yeah, um, there's quite a, f a lot of questions here, so let's kick this off! Uh, the one and only question, which is the first question, is from John Cross. What are your thoughts on number 107 Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon? Oh, I love it! I mean, I'm guessing you must have missed or forgotten about um, my video Top 10 Favourite Number Monsters, because... <laughs> A Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon is rated number three on that list. Um, I love Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon. I really do. And it's really cool that it's getting support in the Light Legendary Duelist pack. Um, uh, not that I plan to get the pack, because uh, there's nothing I want out of there, but... Um, but still, it is really great that um, Attackions uh, are becoming an actual archetype, pretty much. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, it's. I think it's a great card for anything that can make rank eights. Like even to this day, um, I've still got it in my blue eyes white dragon deck, and. Um, yeah, I still play it in my Galaxy Photon deck, um, especially since um, I think, unlike other Galaxy players, I'm the only one, or at least one of the very few, that still plays Rank Up Magic the seventh one and the Tachyon Dragons in there, because, well, it's just so much fun. Um, and of course, I play it in other decks as well, and. Um, yeah, Tachyon Dragon was actually really great um, in those games where I faced off against Time Lords, like back in 2017 and 18. Um, Time Lords being a deck that I really hate so much. Um, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure Blue Eyes White Dragon was one of the few decks that beat it. I can't remember if my Galaxy Photons beat it or not, uh, but Tachyon was a great help against those, because I could just use the effect, seal off the effects of those Time Lords, and just attack right through them and destroy one of them. It was so awesome. Um, sure, I could only do it twice, but still, um, uh, it, it was just really great. Um, now, I did also plan to play this card, uh, Neo Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon and Rank Up Magic the Seventh one in my Dark Magician deck, or at least I did try it out for a while, but never got to pull it off. Um, it made sense though, because um, obviously if I if, if I play Circle, and a seventh one is among um, any of those cards, I can just make sure that it's stacked on top. Um, I think someone else did come up with this idea as well. Um, can't remember who it was, though. But, um, yeah, it didn't work out. Um, never kept it in. Um, uh, oh, well. Um... Uh, it's worth a try, um, in the creative spirit of things. Next questions are from Gungna. Joe. My name's not Joe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I knew what you meant. One, did the pearly cards for Emma arrive safely? Um, I was a bit thrown off by 
at this question and what you said in our chat I was like wait you sent me some cards um, but yeah even though I already said it um, I'll just say it again thank you so much um, I'm trying to work out how I can repay you um, but no they haven't arrived yet um, but I'm sure they will like within a week uh, which will be perfect as um, yeah, it'll be just before I go over there again to see her um, but yeah um, that is great thank you so much uh, we really appreciate it um, we still need to work out something for um, Dragonling um, the light swarm monster because we're still looking for a play set of those um, two, will you play Silhouette Rabbit in Dark Magician together with his trap? This also threw me off because I didn't know who the hell you were talking about. Um, uh, then I eventually uh, figured out who you were talking about. I was like, ah, that um, Illusion Link monster. So I'm just going to turn my fan on. I'm really, really hot. Um, it's been too hot today. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I did look at them, and I think they're really cool, although I wasn't planning to play them in Dark Magician, because, well, uh, I need the room for other things, and I don't have any illusion monsters, um, in the deck. Um, uh, I'll consider it though, but, um, cause, yeah, these are really awesome cards, um, gotta love the illusion archetype, um, I've also just realised it's been a year since we got it, um, wait, why did I say archetype, I meant monster type, um, but what's even crazier than that is that it's been ten years since pendulums came into the game, Where's the time gone? I am not okay with this. And three, I'm learning how to play pearly. Should we play with each other and I'll show you how I play with the deck? Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do that. I mean, I feel like I've kind of got the hang of it now. Um, uh, but, um, but it doesn't hurt to keep practicing and um, <clears throat> just refresh my memory so that that way I can then in turn teach Emma how to play them. Um, although playing under Retrition format would be preferable because um, uh, like I keep saying I really really don't want to play the normal current format anymore. Um, plus um, X Pearly Noir is banned in Retrition format. Um, it's the only Pearly deck that's banned in there, so um, I wasn't really planning um, to put that in the deck. Um, you know, and have us play with that card, but um, I mean. I guess it doesn't matter really what format we play it under. Um, I mean, I can uh, play against yours under the normal current format, but I really don't want to. Um, but um, if this is a good way to help me repay you for sending uh, sending us those cards, then so be it. I'll do it. Um, I think that's everything. Next two questions are from Matt and Alison Welch. One, any thoughts and opinions on the two new Rush Duel only hero cards? Fake Neos and Hero Descent. Or uh, Hero Descends. More Rush Duel questions? <laughs> um, yeah, I did have a look at these. Um, fake Neos is pretty cool and interesting um, and it should theoretically be uh, hit 
easier to bring up the contact fusions, at least in brush tool format. Um, yeah, I do kind of like that. Um, uh, that's two fake heroes, sort of cards that the archetype has got, including this and um, you know, the spell fake hero. <laughs> it's quite funny that. Um, and as for a hero descends, um, yeah, that is really cool as well. Um, of course, the wording is a little bit confusing when it comes to. Um, Uh, the warrior wants to use special summon off it. Um, I don't know whether the part about levels is applied to just that monster, or whether it applies to um, all of the monsters that are being special summoned off its effect. Um, I need to bring it up again. So here we are, this is the card, um, it states special summon up to two Neospatian uh, Aqua Dolphin, Neospatian Flare, Scarab, slash Warrior type normal monsters whose total levels equal seven or less um, from your graveyard to your field in face up defense position. You can only attack with warrior type monsters this turn. See, that's the part that confuses me. Whose total levels equal seven or less. Um, so, does that mean that the warrior um, itself has to be level seven or less? Or does it mean that Aqua Dolphin, Flare, Scarab, and the warrior has to be, has to add up to seven? I feel like it's just the warrior type of normal monster that has to be seven or less, because otherwise that wouldn't make any sense. And as far as I'm aware, there's no um, level one normal warrior type monster. Um, otherwise that would add up to seven. I'm curious actually. Um, is there a normal level 1 monster that's a warrior? Oh, there are! Um, but not in the TCG though, uh, these are only in alternate formats. I don't know what that's meant to be part of. Um, Yeah, I, th I think um, it's the uh, normal warrior that has to be level 7 or less, because um, that wouldn't make sense otherwise, and um, yeah, that card would be the easiest, well, the easiest way to bring out a contact fusion. Um, That's really great. Um, I mean, they don't need to be in the graveyard somehow, but still, I'm sure there's ways to do it. Two, out of all the hero cards in the entire hero archetype, which one do you think is the most underrated but fun to use? Honestly, I would say Elemental Hero Nos. Um, I've had a lot of fun with that card, um, and it's well, one of the few that's just underappreciated, um, which is basically why I created my plant hero deck back in 2010, um, because I wanted a hero deck based on um, a Nosp and Poison Rose and wanted to play some generic plant support. Um, of course wasn't great to start off with but um, it's just phenomenal now um, uh, yeah plant hero is a lot of fun and um, nosp is a lot of fun as well um, um, and just gets extra benefits from having 
other elemental heroes on the field. It makes me miss my plot hero deck sometimes, but at least I've still got it online. <clears throat> and the last 10 questions are from Super Ultra Hero 9961. Uh, hello, my friend, how are you doing? Surviving in this blistering heat, if you call 29 degrees blistering. It's just been too hot today, way too hot, but I'm okay otherwise. Hope you're doing well. Um, and same with all you guys as well. I have some more cool questions for you, and sorry for the misspelling too, I have trouble spelling. Um, I, I don't remember any spelling mistakes um, specifically. Um, uh, just autocorrect. Um, like some words seem to replace what you were meant to say, um, uh, which just really threw me off. But either way, it's all good. Um, hell, there's even some words I still have trouble spelling as well, and even saying. So it's it's all good. Um, all right, here's my questions. One. Did you know the actor of Iron Man is coming back to play as Doctor Doom? Ah, oh, that would be Robert Downey Jr. Yes, I did know that. So I randomly found this out the other day. I was like, say, what? Um, I mean, I did hear he was returning to the MCU somehow. Uh, thought maybe Iron Man might be coming back to life somehow, but um, I guess that's not the case. Um, uh, and that's, yeah, that is a surprise, um, a pleasant surprise, though. Um, uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he portrays Doctor Doom, um, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, even though he's not a Marvel villain I've seen too much of, um, Although I have seen the original Fantastic Four films, I've seen him in one of the Spider-Man cartoons. Um, trying to remember if he came up in any of the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Uh, anyway, yeah, I digress. <clears throat> Two, who is your favourite Pokemon? I don't have a favourite Pokemon because I'm not interested in Pokemon, I'm afraid. Three, did you see the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie? No, I haven't, but I do really want to. Um, not sure if, I, if and when I'll get the time to, but I do really want to, so no spoilers, anyone. Please, just no, I don't want anything spoiled. <laughs> Four, what do you think of the Supreme King Dragons and Zark himself? They're awesome, and... Uh, pretty fun to play. I mean, I do have a Supreme King deck online, and I did have one <clears throat> in real life at some point before I sold it. Um, but now with the support they got in Age of Overlord, they're a bit too good, like, even if it's just on their own. Um, yeah, they're just way too overpowered and overwhelming, um, so I actually banned the whole archetype in Retrition format. Um, although maybe I should uh, look over it and uh, see if I could neutralise it a bit. As for Zark himself, um, yeah, a very cool card, uh, very strong, um, definitely now. Um, <clears throat> I, of course, it wasn't that easy to bring out before, um, and I was trying to think if there was a way to get him out more easily. Um, I even asked Webbers5 if there was a way it could be done but, um, for his Q&A, but I forgot what he said. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe they'll come back in my format, but I don't know. 
five, would you ever play a third copy of uh, Shining Flare Wingman in the side deck? I mean, I probably could, um, considering uh, my side deck for Elemental Heroes uh, is intended to have all the classic anime fusions that I don't have room for uh, in my actual fusion deck, such extra deck. Um, that being said, um, as much as I love Shining Flare Wingman, I'm not really sure a third one's necessary. Because um, uh, two seems perfectly fine to me. Um, some could argue that one's all that's needed, uh, and then there's the fact that most of the time I only bring out one copy anyway, but I like having the option of two at least, because it, it is meant to be the ace monster of my elemental hero deck. Um, of course, before synchros existed, um, free shining flare wingmen was definitely a must in Elemental Heroes, in my personal opinion, because, well, back then there was no limit, so, um, yeah, you could get away with playing free of everything, easily. Um, uh, but, not so much nowadays. Six, how's your Dimension Dragon deck going, and how's all the other decks you're rebuilding going? Slowly, very, very slowly, although um, Express Gaming has offered to get me a couple of the synchros for my Stardust Junk deck, but other than that, it's just slow progress. Um, just nothing's really going anywhere with that. Um, I mean, I could buy all the remaining cards from eBay if I wanted to, but if I do, it's going to cost about £180, and um, I just don't think I can justify spending that much. I mean, I, mean, I would do it just to get it over with and tie up that loose end, but it's just so much, and... Uh, you know, I really don't want to have to buy singles, you know, like I've said many times before. Um, it's just easier to pick them up in trades. Um, and I guess I did make things difficult for myself in the fact that I don't go to any locals right now. Because um, I left one back in November um, because four people really annoyed me, and I left the other one because uh, four people were absolute dicks to me, and I refused to be in the same room as them. Um, I, I did already explain the stories behind these in previous videos, um, so I don't really want to go over it again, although Maybe I will, um, in a rant about 2024. Um, well, this is a bit off topic now, but um, I did actually film a video where I did a rant about 2024 so far, just uh, ranting about the shitty things that have happened so far this year, um, including what happened um, regarding that locals. Um, but I'm just umming and ahhing about whether or not to actually upload it. Um, I mean, I kind of do, but I'm just a bit hesitant to. Well, if I don't, then I might do what I do every year, and that is... Um, as part of my end of year series, just film one video where I uh, rant about the bad stuff, another where I talk about the good stuff, and then uh, the end of year video, just doing a general summary and my favourite moments. Um, 
of course if I do redo this um, as a rant about the whole of 2024 it would just be a redo and throw in like any shitty things that might happen between now and December of course I'm hoping that nothing else will go wrong this year because I've been through enough bullshit already um, uh, yeah we'll see um, now um, with this being said I am considering actually going back to Dead Universe Comics for Wednesday night gaming because um, well it would make it a bit easier to do trading and maybe potentially sell my Nouvelle and Vampire decks um, as I would very much like to sell those um, plus um, uh, I miss uh, having frequent casual games, uh, especially the Dead Universe Comics Raw Rumbles. Hell, even now I still haven't had a Battle Royale game since November. That's like three quarters of a year. Like, I want to have some Battle Royale games with my friends. Um, but yeah, there are um, some downsides to this plan of course. Um, one being, uh, well as I said earlier, I really don't want to play the normal current format anymore. Um, plus, I don't know if anyone there would be willing to give Retrition Format a go. Um, so, um, yeah, it's a tricky one to call. Plus, um, yeah, the journey would cost money. Um, as it would take me, well, um, I would need to get a train ticket or where it is, which costs about thirteen pounds. Uh, plus, uh, last I checked, entry was three pound fifty. Although I don't know if that would have changed since November, but still, that's about. 16, 17 quid right there. Um, but it's like, do I really want to sp spend that much every week um, uh, considering um, what's going on outside my Yu Gi Oh life? Um, again, it's, it's tricky. Um, and again, it doesn't help that I'm not working as many days as I used to. Um, uh, you know, there's lots of complications at the moment, which I don't think I should discuss on here. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. But then again, it do like I said before, it doesn't matter in the long run because. Um, when I move away and live with Emma, um, wherever we end up, I won't be able to go to those locals anymore anyway, uh, unless I'm on a holiday or something. Um, and some other people would say, um, why not just uh, stick the decks and cards on eBay or a trading group? Um, I'm mean, not gonna lie, it's actually annoying when people say that, because I don't actually want to do either of those things. Um, I, I don't want to use eBay because, well, it's too much hassle, and um, I don't want to pay a selling fee. Um, and I don't want to use a trade group because, well, again, it's too much hassle. Plus, well, the other thing is, well I guess this counts for both of them, I don't trust random people on the internet. Um, for all I know, they might try and scam me. And at some point back in 2005, um, when I did this trade, I actually did get scammed. Um, and I don't want that to happen again. Um, I mean, it could be all good and they 
say, oh, but this guy's a trusted seller, a trusted buyer, but how do I really know that? And how do I know they won't randomly decide to be a scammer? Like, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, I know, but it could happen. Like, you never know. Um, so, regarding selling things, it's just easier to reach out to friends on forms of social media or um, see if they know anyone who'd want it or just go to an event and try and sell them off. Or, yeah, you could argue that um, someone at an event might try and <coughs> scam me, but that's not likely to happen, at least not nowadays. Um, I mean, it's highly unlikely considering I don't go to regionals and YCSs and what have you. Well, I don't care for those things. Um, uh, so, yeah, it is slow, annoying progress putting these decks together. Um, oh, one other thing. I don't know what Express Gaming's obsession is with me keeping the Nouvelle deck. Um, I, I know he likes the idea of me having it, but it's like, well, it's not a deck that I ever plan to keep forever. Um, plus, regarding a ritual deck um, that I'd want to have, um, I do have one I can use, which is my Magician of Chaos deck, or Dark Magician Ritual mode. In fact, I'm thinking about uh, just having that as a separate deck, although that might require me to get spare Dark Magician cards, but we'll see. Um, I don't know, um, but I suppose in the long run, once I've settled into my new home and um, and I'm in a different job, then I could just buy the remaining cards if I really have to. But again, I really don't want to resort to it. Anyway, question seven. Uh, what is your favourite Iron Man movie? Mine is being number three. Um, that's a tough one. It, it, it's a toss-up between the first one and the second one. Um, I mean, the first one, just because, well, I like the overall storyline um, of how uh, Tony became Iron Man, um, uh, along with the fact that it's one of the very first uh, MCU movies ever released, uh, the other one being The Incredible Hulk, which I haven't actually seen. Um, so I do want to see that and Captain Marvel, because um, they're the only two uh, MCU movies that I've not seen, like before Avengers Endgame. And I must admit, I'm really behind on all the movies. I mean, the, the latest one I saw was Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, and I've noticed a whole bunch of other Marvel movies coming up, including another Avengers movie, so I need to find a way to catch up, and catch up big time! Um, but anyway, um, I also like the second one, because, um, well, it has, um, because this was where Tony made that really nice upgrade, and, um, yeah, and was also when Tony and Pepper Potts uh, seemed to become an item. Um, as, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this movie which their first kiss happened. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's a really yeah, it's a difficult choice between the first two. Eight. What was the most epic moment with Shining Flare Wingman in a duel where, where you summoned it? Ooh, I would say that would have to be the request duel which Neo Nexus made a long time ago, where he requested Elemental Heroes versus Evil Heroes, um, and 
my friend Timby was using my evil heroes, and he did overwhelm me with two copies of Malicious Fiend, but I was able to bring out Shining Flare Wingman, make a comeback, and uh, attack the both of them and go for the win. Like, obviously over the course of two turns, like, I didn't have a way for it to attack twice, uh, but yeah, that, that's the most epic moment with Shining Flare Wingman that sticks in my mind. Uh, 9. Are you going to put three copies of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon in your Dimension Dragon deck? No. Um, I was only planning to play just two. Um, I mean, despite what I said about Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon before, I think two is okay. Because, um, well, I need the room for other things. Um, maybe I'll consider a third, but I don't really see the need for it really. I mean the plan was to play just two copies each of all four of the Dimension Dragons. But like I said, I'll consider playing f a third copy of Ice Pendulum Dragon. And finally, question 10. Are you going to put Runeye's Pendulum Dragon in your Dimension Dragon deck? I was going to say no, because um, it's not in my online build, but then I thought, actually, wait. Um, because the extra deck limit is 20 in my format, I actually could play Runeye's Pendulum Dragon again if I wanted to. Because, to be fair, I do really like Runeye's. It's really, really awesome. Um, and there's a fond memory from last year where that card actually helped me win against uh, Light Swarms. Um, and it particularly helped against a Cybers Quantum Dragon, because Runeyes was unaffected for the turn. But yeah, I do have some spell casters, obviously, in my Dimension Dragon deck, so, um, you know, Runeyes could uh, be a low-key viable option. Um, I mean, of course, it would be even better if I uh, used it with, wi um, not Wisdom Eye, um, Odd Eyes Dissolver. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely give that a go. I might also consider uh, the other fusions, um, like Beast Eyes, unless I've got it in there already, and uh, even Brave Eyes, um, although that requires a warrior, and I actually don't remember if I've got a warrior type monster in my Dimension Dragon deck. I don't think I do, but I'll just double check. Uh, no, there's... Unless Exceed the Pendulum is a warrior, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure that's a spellcaster. Uh, okay, um, unless the... Um, the butler is one. Um, oh, I need to go to Edo Pro for this because um, the photo I have on my phone uh, doesn't really do it justice. Oh, that's Gentle Trude. Um, nope, it's a spellcaster. Um, yeah, there's literally no warriors at all in my Odd Eyes Dimension Dragon deck, so. Brave Eyes is sadly out of the question. Uh, well, in any case, I will give Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon a go now you've brought it up. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. Um, thank you for answering my questions. Have a nice day. Ultra Hero out. Goodbye, my friend. Um, no problem. Uh, thank you, and I hope you have a nice day too. And that is it for questions in this episode. Thank you very much for your guys' questions. Very awesome ones as always. And if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments section down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening, UK time. So be sure to get your questions in before then, so that you don't miss out. Thanks again, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching, be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.